Casey here in the CDGA studio at the Chicago Golf Show, joined by former Chicago Bear and Super Bowl champion Emery Moorhead. Emery, thanks for taking the time to come by. You just had a, a lesson up on the stage. Uh, so how did that go for you? Did you get some good tips? I, I, I need all the lessons I can get, Casey. <laughs> and this every year I come here and I get that free lesson up there. It gives me something to work on in the winter and get my mind kind of started this time of year. We get a little bit warmed up thinking about golf and those great days when we were able to get out there in the spring and hopefully a good year this year, a long, fruitful year of golf. Absolutely. Um, so you grew up in Evanston. Is that where you first started to learn I, how to play the game? I did. I grew up, uh, there was a, it used to be called Chick Evans uh, Golf Course, and now it's called Canal Shores. Yeah. Uh, it's a little small course, probably 18 holes, probably about 3,200 or right. something like that. Yeah. And uh, you go over and across this canal that runs through Wilmette and Evanston, and out of 18 holes, I think it's seven times you got to go over there. Short course, but very challenging. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you're obviously an avid golfer, as you talked about on stage. What are some of the aspects of the game that you enjoy the most? What, what keeps you out on the course? Well, you know, there's always a shot that, you know, goes perfect. There's always one or two that brings you back to the game. Yeah. And uh, I just love the competitiveness of trying to make a great shot, trying to figure out the distance, the the uh, level, how high it is, and what clubs to use. And then, of course, making that putt. I mean, it's nothing like making a long putt, reading it right, right speed, and draining that putt. Uh, that's a great feeling. Yeah, absolutely. What are some of your uh, favorite courses here in the Chicago area that you frequent? Well, I, you know, I played Kemper a lot when I was a member of the Bears uh, in the 80s, and that, uh, that was always a favorite course. I've been playing Strawberry Creek quite a, quite a bit. And then I play in a lot of uh, celebrity golf outings, and I get to play in some of the great courses in Chicago, the Olympia Fields, the uh, Medina, Twin Orchards. Uh, so it's a pleasure playing all of them. There's so many great private courses, but there are also so many great uh, public courses. And I think that Chicago has a great advantage over a lot of cities and that there's great courses for everybody at every level. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you mentioned your time with the Bears, and this area is still so enamored with that 1985 team. I'm sure uh, the viewers would love to hear maybe a, a story or two that you have about uh, some golfing experiences with your former teammates. Well, we all played a lot uh, because back then there was one mini camp a year, yeah. and the rest of the time you're pretty much on your own. You come into training camp and get in shape, whereas today they have OTAs, they have mini camps, they have. They commit quite a lot to the offseason to get in shape, and rightfully so. With the money they're making, you know, and the training camp is short, you can't come in and get shape. So we had a lot of time to ourselves in the 80s. We played a lot of golf. Uh, Stan Makita was the golf pro out of Kemper. Yeah. So he uh, let us all come out and play. So we played a lot of golf together. And the story I was telling earlier was one of uh, – Jim Morrissey, one of our linebackers in Hampton, Dan Hampton, and uh, uh, I forgot who the other fourth was, and uh, they were playing out at Kemper where there was a lot of ducks yeah. and uh, geese and all this stuff, and uh, Schmelz, we called him Judge Schmelz from Caddyshack, <laughs> but that's Jim Morrissey. Yeah. Uh, he hit one of those ducks, and the duck neck was all twisted they said they thought he killed it oh well the gosh. next day they come in uh, on Wednesday because we had Tuesday off they'd come in Wednesday and it was a big stuffed geese in uh, Jim Morris's <laughs> locker and everybody's telling the story how he killed the geese out there yeah. at Kemper Lakes <laughs> that's pretty good yeah. uh, who were some of the better players uh, among among your former teammates uh, well, man was uh, during the day he was probably the best Kevin Butler was probably the second best uh, now Hampton plays quite a bit. He plays three or four times a week. Richard Dent lives on a golf course, so he plays all the time. Uh, there's a lot of great. Jay Hilgenberg owns a golf course, so he's uh, he's probably about a six. Uh, McMahon's probably a four or two. I don't know how much he's playing. Dent's probably a ten. Uh, there's just a lot of good golfers on that team. and. Yeah, there's a lot of good golfers. You know, I was reading Golf Digest earlier, Robbie Gold. Yeah. Uh, he's a four and very competitive. In fact, I saw uh, Bob Evelini last night, who used to be a member at Medina, and was about a nine or ten. And he says, man, don't even don't even try to get in a match with Robbie yeah. Gold. He yeah. said, he won't even try. Yeah. He says, the guy is good. So the, the 
know, there's a lot of good golfers that play football. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Emery, thank you very much for taking the time to come by, and uh, it was fun seeing you take the lesson and, and hear some of your stories, and we really appreciate it. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it, and good luck to the golf tournament you got up here, the yeah. championship. Uh, is that the one that's going to be at? That's another one. Uh, so, yeah, September this is a 13th. different one. Uh, there's one at uh, Strawberry Creek, like we talked about, but we're introducing our CDJ Scramble Championship, which okay. is open uh, to get, everybody. Get a, yeah, open to everybody. Get a foursome together, go out and play. Uh, it involves handicaps, so anybody and where can Where is play. that going to be? Uh, they're all throughout the Chicago area, so there's okay. nine different events, and then the finale is at Bose Creek. Up all, in, right. Uh, Elgin. all right. We'll so, look for it. Yeah. All right. Thank you thank very you much. Casey. Stay tuned throughout the rest of the Chicago Golf Show for more interviews at the CDGA booth.